all right, folks, you're making a frag movie, right? And you've got this cool sequence, right, where the last kill happens on the last round on the last guy. And you want to make a cam path, but this happens. The scoreboard comes up. Furiating, right? Just the most annoying thing ever. Well, I've got a fix for you. Let's get started. Okay, so super easy, right? All right, first let's make a stream, okay? Merv streams add base effects and let's call it scoreboard. Let's call it annoying actually. Our base effects is called annoying because that's what this scoreboard is. It's annoying. Cool, so very easy. All we do is we want to edit annoying, type in draw HUD zero. Okay. Now, as you see, it says editing stream annoying. Okay. Now what we do is we type in Merv streams preview annoying and there you go. The scoreboard is now gone. And when you record this base effect stream, the scoreboard won't be there and we can make a cam path in this limited amount of time that we have before the demo ends, you know, because the demo is going to end shortly after the, the last scale happens. But now we don't have the scoreboard in our way. OK, OK, so here's another thing. OK, say we want to record the POV of this player as they're killing it. OK, well, what you can do because we have to draw the HUD off of the stream layer, you can actually just recreate the crosshair in Photoshop, okay? Now there are multiple ways you could do this. You could actually make a blue screen or a red screen, draw the HUD on top of that blue screen or red screen, and then just mask out the crosshair. Or you could do it this way. What I do is I take a screenshot, right? And then I throw it in Photoshop. Okay, so we have it in Photoshop, all right? Now, basically, all you do is just recreate the crosshair. So, Mine's full green, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm basically just going to draw this out. Okay, cool, now once you draw it, all you have to do is deactivate this layer, and there you have it. And I will just center it real quick. Here we can just merge these, and then There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. So now you have your crosshair against an alpha and we can save it and then throw it on top of our layer that doesn't have the HUD drawn. Now you may be asking yourself, what about the kill feed, right? Well, that's pretty easy. What we'll do is we'll just draw the kill feed against a green screen and then you just mask it out. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to make a stream. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to draw the HUD on the stream, okay? All right, now this is exactly the same way that I taught you how to maybe draw the crosshair on a, a, a blue screen or a red screen, but we're gonna draw the HUD, okay? Now, we could use a red screen or a blue screen for this, but since the terrorists are orange and since the CTs are blue, using a blue screen or a red screen will actually decolor these slightly. Uh, so we're going to use a green screen, okay? And now what you do is you record this, right? Okay. Okay, so once you record all that, now all we do is just throw everything into Vegas like so. And then, and then what you do is you key out the green. Okay. And then what you do is you mask the kill feed. Okay, and then we're just missing one last thing, which is our crosshair. Okay, 
there we go. So essentially, all you're doing is you're rebuilding the uh, the hut, okay? So to recap, what we did is we made a base effects, we undrew the HUD, okay? And then what we did is we recreated the crosshair in Photoshop, we drew the kill feed on top of a green screen, and then we brought the kill feed into Vegas along with the clip and the crosshair, and we now have a what looks like a functioning POV, but with customized elements on top of it, okay? All right, so there are ways to get around stuff using Half-Life Advance Effects. It's not perfect, and it, it requires a little bit of extra work, but you can circumvent the, uh, the annoying things that CSGO does at times, okay? All right, I really hope this helps. If you have any more questions, I've got a Discord server in the description of this video. If you want to get additional help on this matter, feel free to join, and I'll be more than happy to assist you through it, okay? Until next time.